So if we draw our heart here, what's happening is those ventricles are being squozen, right? They're being squeezed. And so they're full of blood and they're being squeezed. Let me, give me one second. Let me see if I can switch computers real quick. It should be, it should be quick for me. All right, it's still uh, getting all this figured out. It's because it's still turning on, but it's getting closer. I should be able to, to switch computers any minute now. All right, so we have ventricular ejection. Our ventricles are being squeezed together. On our ECG, what's happening? We have what's called our ST segment. And so the T wave is this last little piece. The T wave is that last little piece. The T wave is ventricular uh, repolarization. So it's basically resetting, right? Resetting. Sorry guys, I'm doing the best I can to work three devices right now, hang on. I'm, I almost got it. Okay, I'm going to leave and I'm going to come right back. I'll be right back, hopefully. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Can you guys hear me better now? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Trust me. I'm tired of screaming. <laughs> okay. So I just have to get my uh, app shared on this computer. So we were talking about ventricular ejection. And I'm a big fan of not only using color and drawings to uh, represent things, but also hand motions. So like when I think about um, the heart contracting and think about how the heart is put together and like where the different uh, heart valves are, you have your AV valves that are kind of here, like up and down, right? You have your atria and your ventricles. And so your AV valves are here and your semilunar valves are kind of like diagonal, right? They're, they're crisscross. Your aorta leaves at an angle and your pulmonary semilunar valve leaves at an angle. And so when I'm thinking about heartbeat, I think like this, lub, dub, lub, dub, lub, dub, right? Beep, 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 beep. And, and I think this motion, 
helps me remember which valves close first and which valves close second. Just like when I think of the cardiac cycle, I imagine like pouring into the ventricles, the ventricular filling that first that first stop, and then those ventricles kind of holding that blood, right? They're just holding it and the muscles are getting tension. They haven't squeezed yet. And where we are now is when we finally get that squeeze. So I think of pouring, holding, squeezing, and now we get this ejection that's going to happen, right? This is the actual rush of blood to the lungs or to the rest of the body. And so that's what we're looking at here in this phase. I just have to pull up 